the email is done uh, point 0.3 well this one is more or less moved one unit so that looks pretty good Electrons are amazing. You have to agree with me, electrons are amazing. Power, for the sake of science, you need to do it sometimes. That meter has moved uh, half a unit, so this should do about 1.5 units, which is about spot on. That's pretty good. We'll stop the Mark one meter when it's done exactly one unit on the dial, and then the Aaron should have clocked up three units. And then I'll take the cover off and I'll carry on for a bit more dial testing. And I'll show you the overall setup. It's pretty messy, but uh, it works, let's say, the way I to finally do a test on this meter after sitting uh, 30 plus years doing absolutely nothing. It's uh, not good for meters, they need to be running, and the discs need to be spinning, as we all know. Mm, I smell warm kind of water, warmer. Mm, I smell uh, warm wires. Let's do a quick check. Oh yeah, there's a couple of 4 mil connector wires that are running pretty hot. That's alright. Yeah, 2.5, 2.3. Yeah, looks pretty good. As my editing uh, computer has crashed, uh, I'm looking to get a replacement for that, so at the moment I'm using a YouTube editor which is okay, but uh, it hasn't got all the good features as uh, Sony Vegas, hence my videos are a bit hop, skip and jump sometimes. We're nearly on 0.6 now. Point 0.6. I'll, I'll go back to the email meter shortly, that's 8.65 Click 8.7 The energized camera and have a look Well the dial sits on 8.7 so that moved exactly one unit well here we're sitting on uh, three, so I've done three units here, which is uh, spot on, so that's good. Anyway, we'll let this run a bit. My sodium lent is so to start cycling. This is oh, it's an old bulb, so I'll get a new bulb for that. Just gonna open the meter up now. Ah, oh, the meter has a delicious aroma from an older meter. It's just heaven, like a time capsule again. So I've got three discs on top of each other. Brake magnets have a little bit of rust. Typical Aeon design. Nicely made meter. The disc got numbers on it. Uh, that's a typical uh, a1, also Venner, I think. Venner meters used to have these numbers on the disc as well. Let's see if we get a better close up. Here you go, there's uh, number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 9. I'll get a top aerial view too. Very nice. The pointer dial. Gear train is all uh, metallic, brass gear wheels, very nicely made. Stick it with round holes. And we've got a solid uh, drive wheel here onto the worm. Anti creeping holes are clearly visible in this particular meter. Look at this nice mirror. Like the Landis and Gear uh, meters on some of the old MF series, ML series. So 
So the meter runs now at about 60 ampere, so in the real life it will be seeing 180 ampere if it's just balanced on three phases. That's quite a low disk speed, a very low constant for a particular meter. Uh, the current wires or the actually type of bus bars is copper straps, heavy, heavy duty stuff joining up to the terminal block here which at the moment for the purpose is just uh, shorted out like this single phase, three phase uh, phantom loading get a better shot on the bottom part here shortly the lower discs are probably the blue element oh, sodium lamp here is cycling at the moment it's going through Sylvania Suburban and these are the terminals, they're pretty beefy and I lower the camera down carefully and this is the way I run that that's a single phase so anyone who wants to connect the three phase meter up at single phase you just uh, bring the active in and, sh and bring the loop uh, the other phases in series so you've got the current calls in series and we turn wire back out here. Okay, I see some calibration marks on the bottom disc as well. This is a stroboscope type thing. So, uh, yeah. You can only speed up uh, calibration. There's a pulsing, tackle pulsing. I'll bring the meter up to 100 ampere per phase. So that's about uh, 100 ampere base load on this particular meter. Well, the email is at uh, 0.7 and the Aeon is at 9, so it's, it's spot on, really good. And my card runs out at the moment, so thanks for watching.